is the Saramonic Blink 900, a new dual-channel wireless microphone system. In this video, I'll be diving into the specs, showing you some audio samples taken outside in the real world, and determining who this microphone system is for. Let's start with a quick explanation of what this wireless microphone system is in case you aren't familiar. Basically, it's three pieces. A receiver, which attaches to the camera via the 3.5 millimeter microphone jack, and two transmitters, which attach to the subject that you want to record audio from. The transmitters have a built-in microphone that you can use, or you can plug in a wired lavalier microphone if you'd rather be more discreet with improved audio quality. Because the system is wireless, you don't have to be super close to the receiver receiver or the camera. You can get decently far away and still have your audio recorded. And I'm way out here, but my voice should be equal with Susie's, which should be the big advantage. You see how we can just kind of take our time mm -hmm. and place in here and be whatever we want to be. And the Saramonic Blink 900 still has all of these features, but it has some new ones as well. Right off the bat, the first thing that strikes me about the Saramonic Blink 900 is how drastically different it is from the Saramonic Blink 500 Pro B2, which was the predecessor. This is the microphone system that came out in late 2020, and it was a game changer at the time. There were no other dual channel wireless microphone systems on the market, at least at a consumer price. But shortly after this one came out, the Rode Wireless Go 2 came out, and so did a lot of other microphone systems. So by now, in early 2022, to, the market is kind of saturated with dual channel wireless microphone options, but Saramonic was indeed an OG player in the game. So compared to the Saramonic Blink 500 Pro B2, the B900 looks way different. In fact, it looks really similar to the Rode Wireless Go 2. Overall, the Blink 900 looks a lot more polished and professional in its more square shape as opposed to the rectangular shape. Now as far as pros go, there are four main ones. The B900 units have a dimmable LCD display to verify settings. And I like this as opposed to the Rode Wireless Go 2, which only has an LCD display on the receiver. The transmitters of the Rode just have these little blue lights, and ultimately you have to double check everything on the receiver. The B900 also comes with a charging case that is much smaller than the B500 charging case. You can recharge the transmitters and the receivers up to three times using the case. The B900 also comes with two wired lavalier microphones that you can use with the transmitters. These are really high quality wired lavalier microphones as opposed to the other ones that came with the B500. Also, the range on the B900 has now doubled compared to the B500. It's now 200 meters, which is the same as the Rode Wireless Go 2. Now before I get to the cons, this is a good time to insert some sample audio footage so you can hear what the B900 sound like out in the real world. We're out here testing the new Saramonic B900 uh, wireless microphones for two people. Yeah, so we can interview the world's cutest baby now. <laughs> He's speechless. Uh, he hasn't mastered the art yet of giving interviews. He's just sitting there being cute. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there you go. No. Okay, so our levels are set to. I'm at four out of six, and you're at three, three out, out of six. six. So we've also got the fuzzy windscreens, and we're using the built in microphones. Yeah, it's not windy, but it is outdoors. There's competing noise over there, are some children on the playgrounds and so on. So maybe you can hear, maybe not. If not, it's a win. All right, next we are testing out the Saramonic B900s, but we are not using the internal microphones. Instead, we've attached their wired lavalier microphones. And I'm way out here, but my voice should be equal with Susie's, which should be the big advantage. You see how we can just kind of take our time mm -hmm. and place in here and be whatever we want to be and there's no problem you know we can be moving as well that's mm -hmm. great yeah we can be pretty far apart from each other and this is true even with the internal microphones but with the wired lav it's a little bit less obvious uh, that you're using a microphone you can hide it a little bit better and it blends in with your outfit for our next test we're still using the wired labs on the ceremonic b900 microphones and we're going to be further apart martin's going to go behind this tree here to see if there's any cut out or interference if there's a tree between us I don't hear a word that she's saying over okay, there. She's him. telling me that yeah, it could be that um, some people believe a tree would block the signal there. and I couldn't be heard. Probably both That's talking over to each me, other right total now, nonsense. But, yeah, so we'll we should be proving it as I'm standing right behind the tree. But 
yeah, <laughs> not needed in my opinion. Not bad, huh? I think the audio quality of the B900s is really good, which comes as no surprise because the B500s were already really great in terms of audio quality. And now for the cons. There are three main drawbacks to the B900, at least in my opinion. The first is the battery life. It is six hours, which is less than the Rode, which comes in at seven hours, and even less than the Blink 500, which comes in at eight hours. So I'm not really sure why the battery life got really reduced on the B900s, but that's just something to note. The second con is the lack of onboard recording. This was a new feature that came out on the Rode Wireless Go 2, which allows you to record audio directly to the transmitter. This is really nice because it acts as an audio backup and it can replace a physical audio recorder such as a Tascam or a Zoom recorder. And so given that the Blink 900 is a brand new product, I'm kind of surprised that it's missing this feature. The third con is the price. Both the older Blink 500 Pro B2 and the Rode Wireless Go 2 come in at $299. US Meanwhile, the Blink 900 is $500. That is a huge price increase, but let me explain what I think their logic is. For $499, you get a wireless microphone system plus a charging case that is also an external battery for charging devices, plus two wired lavalier microphones. Rode doesn't give you any of those extras. In fact, if you bought the extras, it would be $75 times two for the Rode Go lavalier microphones, plus about $50 for the charging case because Rode doesn't make one, so you'd have to go with a third party. So by the time you add all of that up, then that gets you to the $500 price point. So when you look at it that way, it actually makes sense why the Ceremonic costs $500, but it's just not very obvious off the bat. So my advice to Ceremonic is to make their pricing more clear, and maybe by adding a build your own kit so people can see exactly why everything costs $500, because it really does make sense when you do the math. In conclusion, Ceremonic as a company I think is really impressive, because if you look at how far they've come since the original Blink 500 to the Blink 900, they've made some really huge jumps in product development even if their bottom line looks remarkably similar to the market leader, the Rode Wireless Go. The main differences between the Rode and the Blink 900 are the charging case, which comes with the Blink 900, and also the onboard recording that Rode offers. So which one is better is completely up to you based on the features that you'd rather have. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If you'd like to see our other reviews on the previous Ceremonic Blink 500 or the Rode Wireless Go 2, we've got lots of videos in the past, so I recommend watching those. Thanks for watching and we will see you in the next video.